Welcome back guys, CryptoFly channel. Today we would like to talk about risk management and long short tool option on TradingView. How to count your risk per trade or take profit per trade. Let's dive in. First of all guys, I highly recommend you go and watch a big video how to work with Binance Trading Futures Calculator. It will be definitely useful for you. But if you uh, use, uh, for example, TradingView, I use uh, so often every single day. So I analyze all my charts on TradingView. I'm not analyzed on the Binance or on the Bybit. I use uh, only TradingView. How to know when, what uh, size open position, what uh, stop loss I need to add it to my position. Depends of size of my position. You have to just use long short position option. You can mark with a star so you will add to your favorite and uh, then you get this table and you can use this long and short position. I will show you on long tool but absolutely the same settings the same uh, way you can use the short position. So we just save the time. So let's say I would like to open my long position at a full fill of that gap 150 at 22 cents sold usdt trading pair you have to use that tool and understand your risk per trade before you open position guys it's really important because i'm bad 99 uh, traders just open randomly using for first of all random leverages high leverages like 50 leverage like 100 leverage because you saw all that beauty PLs, you know, uh, on Twitter when all that gurus shill you. It was so easy. Take a look. I opened the trade with a 100 leverage and I made a 3,000% gains, you know, in one trade. Join my uh, Discord pay group. No, guys, uh, it doesn't work like this one because uh, in most cases, that guys never share how many trades and how many liquidation do they got before they catch that good trade. That's why uh, we are here not for the gamble. We are here to learn how to work with your uh, position, how to open position with the proper risk management. Of course, you can trade even with a uh, 100x leverage. It's okay but the size of your position should be totally different. So I choose the long position. I add it here, for example. You will see that instrument by default. Let's go to settings. First of all, style. You can set up the style up to you by color, depending on your uh, trading view tem, uh, the color of the tags and uh, backgrounds, you know. You can add the price label. Turn on, turn off, price label, got it. Next one, compact stats mode. So when you add it here, the all uh, information disappear and you will see only the numbers. So you will totally understand. It's more for experienced traders. You will see all information. I recommend you to not turn on to compact stat mode. Always show the stats. When you turn on, the stats always will be visible. So let's go back to the settings. Here's the inputs. This is what you need to know. When you trade a crypto, don't be scared because this calculator looks uh, totally different than on the Binance. Because uh, the calculator without the leverages, with some lot. And we will talk later about a lot, of course, but because we'll not talk only about a crypto on that channel in the future. Lot size for the crypto currency should be always one. So you don't need to change here nothing. Account size, you need to add that amount of money in USDT depends of what leverage you use. So for example, you got $100 and you want to open position with 10x leverage. It means we need to add account size $1,000. So when you trade $100 your own margin, but with 50x leverage, it will be $5,000. Got it. But let's trade with uh, 10x leverage, $1,000. Lot 1 risk per trade one percent got it you can add like 0 0.5 percent half percent but let's say it's one percent got it entry price it will be totally different because uh, entry price uh, will change uh, when you uh, move that uh, tool and tick you don't touch it price you don't touch it for profit and the stop level you basically don't touch it but i will next, uh, show you why you can use that things and the price you don't touch it got it first of all let's say you can add your long here and stop loss we need to use one percent sometimes trading view won't give you the option to add the round number of percentage in this case let's add always show the stats in this case you can use the ticks so take a look, one 
0.02 here round number one percent stop for example our take profit will be over than that top so now we get information here risk reward ratio usually it's like one to three I think you so often hear it, uh, you need to trade one to three. Uh, if it's at 1% per risk, you should uh, take a profit at 3% profit. Got it. And opposite way if it's a short position. So this trade, potential trades, can be like ratio one to eight. Profit eight times bigger than your stop loss. Our stop loss is 1%. Amount of money will be after that trade 990. So basically minus ten dollar it means from our hundred dollar initial margin we will lose with one percent down stop loss we will lose our ten dollar got it and the profit will be one thousand eighty dollars so from our initial hundred dollar profit will be eighty dollar it's pretty good you don't need to pay attention for the quantity here if you trade on a centralized crypto exchanges if you trade on MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5 you need to pay attention for the quantity because this is a size of position what do you need to open if you trade on uh, MetaTrader so this is uh, how you can count your proper risk measurement before you open position this is amazing tool and this will save you a lot of time and a lot of nerves and uh, money just start use it and uh, plan every single trade so before you open position at any level you totally understand your risk how much money do you lose if you will get a stop loss how much uh, money uh, will you make if uh, the price will go higher if you want to open trade for example with a two percent risk all right so you just need to scroll it down like this one and change in the settings two percent risk so your risk will be two percent and you will lose twenty dollar that's it guys and you can use that tool on different time frames it can be that one hour time frame one day time frame monthly time frame one minute time frame highly recommend you use that tool guys i hope you like this video subscribe channel hit the like button hit the notification button don't forget to join my telegram channel see you next time guys